Here's another example of where use substitution is going to come into play. And again, we're going to notice that there is some sort of variable, and then the other variable is that squared. So if we were to let u be x to the 1 3rd power, which remember means the cube root, then that would mean if I were to square both sides, u squared would be x to the 2 thirds. So this allows us to rewrite the original problem as 3u squared plus 11u. Now we're going to go ahead and subtract the 4 to the other side right now since we know that that's what we're going to end up needing to do. And now we have an honest to goodness quadratic. Now we can go ahead and factor this. So this factors as 3u minus 1 u plus 4 equals 0, meaning either 3u minus 1 could be 0, or u plus 4 could be 0. Now if I add the 1 to the other side and then divide by 3, I get 1 third. I can subtract the 4 to get negative 4. Now again, we're not looking to figure out what u is equal to because we made up u. We're looking for what x is equal to. So we got to come back to what we did for our substitution and say, instead of writing u equals 1 third, u is the same thing as x to the 1 third power. And similarly, instead of saying u equals negative 4, instead of that u, we're going to write x to the 1 3rd power. Now, we've got to be a little bit careful here. I see a lot of mistakes happen with these types of problems. We've got to remember that we're solving a brand new equation. We're not looking at this to say 1 3rd means cube root, so it's cube root 1 3rd. We're saying that the 1 3rd power means the cube root, so the left-hand side is cube root of x. And now we want to say, how do I solve this? How do I get the x by itself? How do I undo the cube root? I undo the cube root with a cube. So I actually need to raise both sides to the third power in order to undo that cube root. This gets me x equals 1 over 27. x equals negative 64. And those are my two answers.